Welcome to Simply Apple. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Notification Center in OS X. On the right side of my screen, you can see I have the Notification Center opened up. The Notification Center first became available with OS X Mountain Lion. And you can see the Notification Center gives me a variety of information from mail to iTunes to Twitter to Facebook to iMovie and the list can go on and on and on from there. Essentially the Notification Center provides you with new information as it comes into your Mac. And you can actually alter what shows up in the Notification Center which I'll show you how to do later in this video. In addition, at the top of the Notification Center I have a spot to message, tweet with Twitter, post with Facebook, or post with LinkedIn. So how do you access the Notification Center? At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on the desktop to close the Notification Center. And I'm going to show you two ways to open up this very important area. The first way brings us to the menu bar. In the rightmost corner of the menu bar, you're going to see an icon that looks like the one I'm circling with my mouse. If I click on this, that opens up the Notification Center. And if I click on it again, that will close the Notification Center. If you're using a trackpad, if you begin just off the trackpad on the right side and then take your fingers and drag from right to left, the Notification Center will also open up, which is a very easy gesture to go ahead and open the Notification Center. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and close the Notification Center by just simply clicking on the desktop. So the Notification Center does provide you with a variety of useful information. But there might be times where you don't want the Notification Center showing this information. You don't want it to show up in the actual bar itself here. Or in some cases when the information just comes in, it will show up as a banner in the upper right corner of your screen. So if you don't want this to actually show up, let's say you're giving a presentation or you're showing your Mac to somebody else and you don't want them to see your mail or Facebook post as an example, there are two ways you can turn off the Notification Center. The first way has us go back into the Notification Center. I'm going to go into the Notification Center by clicking on the icon in the menu bar. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the very top of the actual bar. And it says Do Not Disturb. And it says Off at this point. If I go ahead and click on this, you can see that it now says On. And if I look in the upper right corner of my screen, that Notification Center icon is now grayed out which means that you have disabled Notification Center. And to go ahead and re-enable it, I'm simply going to go ahead where it says Do Not Disturb and click on it. And now, as you can see, my Notification Center is re-enabled. Another way to go ahead and quickly disable Notification Center is by hovering your mouse in the upper right corner of the screen, again, over top the Notification Center icon, press down the Option key on your keyboard, and then go ahead and click on the Notification Center icon. As you can see, it's grayed out, which means I've disabled the actual Notification Center. And once again, if I go ahead and press down the Option key and click on the icon, I have now re-enabled the Notification Center. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Notification Center once again by simply clicking on the icon. And I want to draw your attention to a couple of things. If I wanted to learn more information about this email message, I can just simply go ahead and click on it and it will take me to that message in the mail app. And that's true of every other instance of the notification center that you see listed. And if you ever want to go ahead and close any of these posts on the notification center, you'll find right next to where it says the name of the app, there's an X. If I click on the X, they're gone which means that they're gone from the Notification Center, but not from the actual app. So if I went to the app, I would still be able to find those mail messages as an example. Now, when more mail messages come in, they will start to populate once again in the Notification Center. So one more time, if I wanted to go ahead and close this iTunes message, I simply go ahead and click on the X, and it's gone. And while I have the Notification Center open up, I also wanted to draw your attention to the bottom right corner of this area. It looks like a bunch of gears. If I go ahead and click on this, 
This will open up the notifications system preferences on my Mac. Again, these are system preferences, which means I can make a lot of changes for the notification center. So for instance, if I wanted to go ahead and go down to Facebook, I can see I have banners set up. And the key here is where it says show in notification center and there's a check mark next to it. That means that Facebook post will show in the notification center and I can actually alter how many get shown. The most recent, the five most recent, 10, 20 as an example. Now what this Facebook alert style means is none, banners, or alerts. None basically means is that when a new Facebook post comes in, it will not show up in the upper right corner of my screen. Banners, as it says here, appear in the upper right corner and go away automatically. And then furthermore, alerts, which is right over here, these will stay on your screen until dismissed. Typically, when I'm using the notification center, I usually leave it set to banners. Again, it comes in for a moment and then disappears so that it does not interrupt my workflow. And again, I can alter any of these at any time. So there you have it. How to use the notification center, how to disable the notification center, and how to change the preferences in the notification center in Mac OS X. And until next time, this is Simply Apple.